Welcome to Downeyville. Downeyville, population 5,000. 5,000 unemployed state workers because Representative Keith Downey wants to lay off 5,000 state workers and the services that we deliver. Are we going to stand for that? No! And welcome to Downeyville. Do you enjoy it here? No! Downeyville is the kind of place that turns its back on the poor, on the sick, on the children, on the elderly. You want to see something even worse than this shutdown? All you have to do is look at the Republican budget proposal. That's right. Senator Linda Runback and her colleagues want to eliminate completely state aid to St. Paul, Minneapolis, and Duluth. If they succeed, if they succeed, their plan would leave us with closed libraries, locked rec centers, fewer police and firefighters, and even higher property taxes than we're already paying today. 12 chambers of commerce around our state, and mayors across the entire state of Minnesota who say this program has worked for 40 years, don't cut it, keep it moving, keep it serving the people in Minnesota. Senator Koch and Speaker Zellers, how do you sleep at night knowing that the Minnesota you envision will not help low-income families escape poverty, but create a permanent lower class that drives Minnesotans currently in the middle class to the lower class? The Republican legislation includes a, a piece by Senator Hahn, which would effectively kill Minnesota care and put 140,000 people off of health insurance. There's nothing scarier than not having health insurance. It's an immoral abomination that Senator Hahn would put legislation forth that will take needed health care away from that many Minnesotans. They're not going to quit getting sick. They're not going to quit needing medical services. What's going to happen? They're going to end up going to the emergency room. Costs are going to skyrocket. Senator Michelle Fishbach wants to make the deepest cuts to higher education in the entire history of this state. And today it's more important than ever that kids get a college education, whether it's at a technical college, a community college, or a four-year university. It's impossible to get a good job without some higher education. Well, welcome to Downeyville. You, you can't get there on the bus. <laughs> It's a place where Representative Beard and his allies turn their back on workers, students, and seniors who depend on the bus to get to work, to school, and to medical appointments. Transit riders would pay more for less service in Downeyville, and thousands of people wouldn't have a way to get to work or to avoid the high cost of gas. Our industry has suffered Depression-era unemployment for well into three years. We are starting to come out of that pit. And now, now those brothers and sisters, those sisters and brothers that work on these roads have to go home again. Is that right? No! We need to get everybody back to the cable, put us back to work, put the construction workers back to work, give us a bonding bill. We want to work! Right? This is a place where Representative Steve, Steve Driskowski would replace me, a human caregiver, with a baby monitor. I work directly for and with human beings, Minnesota citizens with mental disabilities. I am not tethered to a wall outlet. I don't operate on batteries. An occasional cup of coffee will do. And my clients deserve, as human beings, to be cared for by human beings. Right. Mike Stark was a good friend of mine and a co-worker. He was killed in the line of duty at age 39, and all his family gets is a lousy $191 per month. He gave his life to keep the rest of us safe. But Senator Perry doesn't care about keeping the Strzok family safe. He led the charge to kill legislation proposed by Governor Dayton to give the Strzok family almost $2,000 a month, the same amount that would go to the family of a state patrol officer killed on the job. Governor Dayton's bill was introduced with bipartisan support, yet Senator DePerry killed it. I guess that Mike Strzok didn't sacrifice enough for Senator Perry and his allies. The Republicans, they're playing games. It's their sick version of survival. Yep. They want to see how long folks can hold out before things get really out of control. Then they 
can force their budget down your throats instead of passing a plan that's fair and balanced. Well, that's what they think. But you know what? We won't let Keith Dowd and all the others use and abuse working families, will we? No! We won't let that happen! No! Sisters and brothers, we've got to make our voices heard, don't we? No!